Yo, what is up guys? Today we are back with another banger of a video. We are going straight thrifting. You're gonna get thrifting content. You're gonna get some vintage festival content as well. And uh, it's gonna be a good video. We got some crazy finds today. So definitely stick till the end to see everything we get. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment on what my favorite. Bruh. <laughs> Hey, bro. I watch your film, bro. No, bro. You coming, bro? Yeah, bro. Hello, bro. Hey. <laughs> What's good? Hey. Hey, don't put that shit in. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to now. I had like one more line to say and I forgot what I was saying. Bing bong. Yeah, like I said, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment your favorite piece that I found today. All right, let's get into the video. We're gonna hit this Salvation Army. I've been here before, you guys have seen it. It's pretty hit or miss. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna see. Let's go. All right, we're gonna start in the hoodies. I also just found this Pacquiao tee. Pretty fire, but we're gonna start here. My hopes aren't too high. This place is pretty bad usually. Um, but yeah, this is, this is kind of my thought process. I see a graphic here, weird as shit. Some, Raptor pole vaulting. I'm like interested a little bit, you know. Never seen anything like that before. Diamond Supply Co. Why is that kind of nice? Yeah, no, I don't need that shit. Their prices are kind of all over the place. They never really make sense. So we're gonna have to factor that in if we find something. Someone did comment that I should do. Yeah, I went here. It's kind of cool. See, like three ninety nine. Um, I don't need that. Someone did comment though, uh, that I should do more um, POVs of me going through the clothes. So here, this is for you, brother. It's all a feeling thing at the end of the day, you know? Um, yeah, I'm not seeing shit, dude. Old Navy. Damn, this might be a dud, bro. Yeah, that shit all sucked. Checking this extra rack here, and I swear I always find nice sweaters here. One of my videos, I found two like Kuji sweaters. So that's that's coming home with me for sure. All right, yeah, so I checked the rest. Couldn't find much. Only found this other piece, the U of I, quarter zip. So we got a nice little three piece. I'll take it. I was in here for like 15 minutes. Let's go. All right, guys, I hope you are not getting sick of seeing this place. We are yet again back at the Village Discount Outlet. The same one I always be hitting, but they, they restock pretty regularly. So like regularly. Reg regularly regularly but they were stocked pretty regularly why can't i say that word they were stocked a lot okay damn we're gonna go in there and hopefully today was a restock day or something but uh yeah let's just go man fuck all right first of all the fit goes crazy today golden state crew we got the memory pants hold on i can i can show you this better i thought this was gonna be better it's not all right you're just getting the top down look Got the memory pants on and the fire new bounces. Clean, clean, clean. But as far as the finds go today, man, we went crazy. Full rack of a ton of different shit. Let's get right into it. Starting off is these jorts with the cool side pockets, WRG. It's more like a women's sizing, they're a little smaller. Then we got the Ocean Pacific. This is like that surfer vibe, obviously. Clean back hit as well. Then we got two. Peanuts graphics. Hey, yo. We got two Peanuts graphics. This one, 4th of July. And then the Rats with Snoopy on it. Fire. Got the original gangster here from Chicago, Al Capone. A calm little superhero Marvel tee, whatever you want to call it. Wait, damn, this ain't even Marvel. This is DC Comics. I'm tweaking. Then we got the Pink Panther tee. This one's nothing crazy, not vintage or nothing, but I used to love this movie. Like, I would like to take a closer look at your bulls. My what? Your bowls. I would like to take a closer look at your big brass bowls. Okay. I've seen this a thousand times, basically. So this is this might go in the personal. Got a clean little polo jeans long sleeve. Not bad. Got the Hawaii shirt. There's a stain here. This is making me debate if I want this, but it's got cool Y2K graphic styles. A little back here too. Bad dogs. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get this one anymore. I got a lot of shit today, so this one this one might go back to the racks. Then we got two wolf tees. This one's crazy, but this one's even crazier, bro. Look at that shit. That's just the front, brand new with tags. And then there's a back hit, bro. Panthers, still debating on this one. We'll see. 
And then this is crazy. I found so much Chicago sports stuff today, like especially socks, which kind of sucks. You know, we Cubs fans out here, but we got we got some tough tees. This one, hey Cubs fans, this one's for you. The back hit. 97 years of losing Cubs still suck. Why stop now? So this one's obviously before they won the World Series, 2006. A lot of their tees you find for White Sox are like 2005, 2006, after they won the World Series. This one's dope. Love that sparkle silver they used back in the day. Got another one here, not bad. This one's pretty sweet. This one's dope, I like the big Chicago hits. And then we also got like this uh, cotton jersey with the back hit too, that's nice. And then we got two crazy pieces here. We got this White Sox jacket. 15's kind of steep, but with the back hit like that, I'm gonna grab. And then this is probably my favorite find today, the Chicago Cubs on the Russell tag. Look at that, dude. That's wild. Definitely grabbing that. And then we got the Yankees embroidery tee, NCAA championship, 1999 final four. Brand new with tags, crazy. Got that Notre Dame spell out, fighting Irish. Got the Bears embroidered crew neck. Nice. Coca-Cola, Las Vegas. Coca-Cola tag, good price. Uh, it's like a grandma sweater. A little back hit too. Yellowstone crew neck. I, uh, this is like the same kind of printing I did for my brand, so I, I like it. It looks cool. Also got some bear stuff. Green Bay can suck my dick, huh? Pops. The Windy City, the Monsters of the Midway, the Defense, the Bears. Chicago Bears Reebok tee, kind of mid. Probably gonna leave that one. We got Patrick Kane, hockey tee. Little quarter zip. Like this sweater a lot, it's a cool colorway. Then we got a few blanks. I love this Hanes tag, it's one of my favorites for sure. We got this one and this one. And then we got some personal cups, you know? Gotta find stuff for the personal. Just like a textured black tee. I have a white one kind of similar to this, so good cop for me. Just a unique little long sleeve, probably not gonna fit me. And then this one's actually really cool, I love this. Eddie Bauer's such a good brand. It's not vintage or nothing. Probably from the 2000s, but like, I don't, I'm not really sure, but this is just a good essential piece here. And that wraps up all this shit today. We'll probably be going to another thrift. Let's go. All right, guys, so I was about to go check out, and then I just looked over to the kids' sections right here. Sickest Donkey Kong toy ever. Yeah, I'm for sure grabbing this. Just found a bunch of these Miller High Life uh, ceramic mugs. I think I might get these for myself, or my mom might want them for her shop. Good little piece, they're like two bucks a piece. I'm gonna grab them. Yo, what's up guys? We are currently on the road. We're on the way to a little Facebook marketplace meetup. Um, basically this guy has 115 hats. They're like NFL and Super Bowl hats. They're from Mitchell and Ness. I think they're newer. They're not really vintage, but um, worked out a wholesale price with them because you know, it's a lot of hats. I, I, I don't really deal with hats too much. And I was like, you know what? You gotta take some risks. Scared money don't make money. So. I got a pretty good deal on them. I'm in at $600 for all 115. So it comes out to like around five bucks ish for uh, each hat. You know, I end up selling it for 10 bucks, double my money, but that's at the worst. I think I'm gonna sell them for at least 15 to 25. I'm gonna try selling them on eBay and who knows, maybe I'll throw them on Depop, my website, give them away, my Instagram. I don't really know. We're gonna throw them up everywhere. I mean, 115 is a lot of hats, so Hopefully this ends up being good. Uh, I'll show you all the hats after this deal goes down. And then you guys can let me know in the comments, was that a dub pickup or was that stupid? Did I just waste $600? I'm not really sure. We're gonna find out though. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. Let's go, all right, we got the full bag full of 115 of these dead stock Mitchell and Ness hats, bro. I mean, I mean, these are crispy, bro. Dead stock, Super Bowl. This, this is one of my favorites for sure, this colorway. Uh, but I mean, like, there's so many different ones. I mean, these are fire. We got even chargers in here. I didn't even know this one had the back hit like that. That's tough. Um, I mean, this was a really good deal. I'm not going to go into all of them. Oh, I also might want to keep this one. There's a few I might keep. But, like, bro, this is pretty tough, you know? You got to make big deals like this. I'm starting to get to the point where I'm getting more and more serious about maybe opening a store. So, you know, the more stock I can get, I have no idea. This, you just threw this one in. I didn't even want this one. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a good deal. You got to love it. We got some NFL ones in here as well. Rams, Falcons. Um, yeah, he hooked it up, and he's got a connection with Mitchell Ness. Well, he said he did. I don't know if he, he said he uh, will try to reconnect with them, but um, we'll see. I don't know. I'm definitely interested in keeping uh, and just 
into doing more business with them so that'll be good and uh yeah this is a good little addition maybe to store or selling online we'll see but yeah we just making money moves let's go all right guys we're at undisputed vintage fest today vintage market whatever it is uh but yeah we're here i'm about to go park the car real quick i am already i'm already set up there is a line outside to get in that's kind of crazy um hopefully i can find parking real quick because this starts in five minutes and i'm not trying to run around before this shit starts and starts when i'm already sweating i started looking through some a bin of clothes and i'm sweating already so that ain't good yeah let's go here's the booth setup i think we're all gonna go deaf the music is so loud but yeah i mean it's it's cool in here man y'all probably can't hear me at all and i might get a copyright strike so i'm ending the video now bye ah! Event's going really good. Um, I just bought a like a sixty-five dollar bundle from someone. He was doing two for fifteen deal. I don't. I still don't know if you can hear me, but two for fifteen deal. I got him down to like six a piece. Got eleven pieces. Sixty-five bucks. Um, yeah, I'll show you them in a sec. But it's been a good day. Really good day. All right. So here's the full bundle of what I got. We got this tee right here. It says Coed Naked Motorcycling. That one's crazy. That back hit. Then we got purple Mickey Mouse tee. This one's fire. Ferris crew neck. These, uh, this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt is so sick. Nickelodeon tag. I mean, dude, look at that. Crazy. Got a Harley. Another Ferris crew neck. Another Harley right here. Here's the back hit. Got a American Eagle jacket. Very nice. Got Orange County choppers. Nice. Back hit too. Fire, literally. Another Harley and a Bulls shirt. I mean, like, this bundle was crazy. For 65 for all 11, it's just wild. Good pieces, dude. Definitely room to make money here. And I might keep a few, so that's dope. My boy's going crazy right now. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, bro. I'm about to lose right now. There you go. Damn. Bonus stage. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I thought yeah, you died. Yeah. I thought oh, you I died. It. No, I got it, bro. Okay, okay. I'm about to die right now, bro. Nah, nah, you got it. Oh. Damn, your, your Game Boy's on red, bro. I know, I just yeah. saw that shit. Oh, I went back to green. You're good. Oh. Finally, dude. You know how many times I've died in this fucking really? level? All right, we just wrapped up the event. Man, I swear to God. My car always interrupts me, bro. I have so many moments on video of me just getting interrupted by my car. Um, but yeah, dude, today, great event. No complaints here. The guys at Undisputed are great. Love those guys, they're dope. Um, but we have a little bit of a problem right now. It's uh, six o'clock, all right? There's gonna be traffic getting home. I got a 50 minute uh, drive home. Probably longer now, I haven't looked. But um, there's a thrift I saw on the way here. And I kind of want to go thrifting. We got tomorrow here as well. Another day at the event. There's two thrifts around here. There's a community thrift store, which is like the OG thrift that if you go to like my first videos, that was the thrift I was always going to, but at a different location. So I've never been to this one. So I, I got to go, right? I'm in the area. I might as well go, but I think I'm gonna save that one for tomorrow. I'm gonna hit this smaller spot that I saw on the way here real quick, go home and eat. Dude, I'm starving. So I got a good probably two hours ahead of me right now before I eat. That that's concerning actually. Um, yeah, but uh, it was a good day. Made some money, sold some things. It's fun time. Let's go. All right, we're going to a thrift and dollar. What y'all think? Is this gonna be a hit or a miss? Leave a comment down below. And let's see if you were right. Let's go. Uh, yeah, this place is massive. I don't see any clothes yet, so hopefully we find an area. Bro, this place is crazy. It's just a ton of furniture. I think there's clothes up front, but I'm still looking around. Yeah, this clothing section was very weak, like straight cheeks. Damn. All right, so I found these little toys over here. They are NBA 1988 toys, bro. These are sick. Got like Kevin McHale or whatever his name is. Um, basically a bunch of good ones in here. We got like Scottie Pippen, but they are taxing. I don't want to pay 15 on this. Um, so we got a few over here. We got Carl Malone, 
Isaiah Thomas, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, and Patrick Ewing. These are all three, like three or two each. So I think I might grab these. And then there's some pendants down here. This monkey jungle one's kind of cool. But uh, I'm not really seeing anything else here that's catching my eye. But I mean, this store is massive. Mostly furniture stuff, but uh, I might walk away with these. All right, I'm exhausted. I think that uh, it's my thrift, my thrifting needs of the day. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.